the Thought Zone. This is a podcast where we talk about weird dreams, odd laws, and interesting thoughts. What if I, I just do Brett... the whole podcast in a weird voice? I also didn't mean to moan in the beginning. I don't know if people <laughs> might caught that. But... <laughs> good start. Uh, I interrupted well, Brett. No, this is a good Siambo. intro. Keep going. I'm I'm just Brett this time, I guess. <laughs> I'm just Brett. And with us we have a very special guest. It's a southern old man who's very excited about his barbecue. Oh. Well now, it's me, Sam Barbecue Man Risley. Come on down to the bayou. We got fried gators, we got barbecue chicken, we got brisket of all kinds. Yeehaw. Beef brisket, pork brisket. I even made chicken brisket. That's probably really hard to do. And then on top exists. of all that, human brisket. Oh. oh. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the most intense kind of brisket. It's well, the most you dangerous that, game out here, y'all. I also see you have frog brisket. Frogs are the only ones exempt from being made into meat. Well, then why is it on your menu? That was Hi, from I'm the fine, old by owner. the way. Why is it on your menu? That was from the old owner. I made him it's, into the human There's a brisket. photo of it. No, there's a photo of you, and it says this is the current owner who made the menu. Why are frogs in the... Oh, he ran off. He ran away. Frogs oh. will reign supreme. Okay. Oh, this ties into the Kermit lore of the last episode. I see. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It sure does. Who's going first again? Well, I'm sorry. Who are you? Oh, I said I'm signed when I introduced myself to the menu. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And right. it's over. It's done. So we're we're Brett, Cyan, and well, I guess I I'm Sam. I'm hot topic furry. Okay, just doing that. I'm, yeah, we'll just, just ride on that one for a couple episodes. I'm hot topic Lily. Yeah, Lily, hot topic. Uh, let's just go straight on to our first segment. I implore you. Thank you. I have his blessing. My cool. human brisket. I will do it later. Please leave and bring Sam back. Sam was made into the human brisket. Yeah, I don't remember. He said he's going to do the entire episode in this voice, so we just have to play along with it. Right, okay. So you, you might as well just start. Right. Well, maybe he changes voices every five or six minutes. We'll find Sam out. Sam has been given who's the first person to who's going? Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate sacrifice to appease Kermit. I'm going first. Okay. And this one Bring us is from the law, Brad. I will. Thank you. <laughs> this one's from Springfield, Oregon. Oh. And it says, it is illegal to own a reptile as a pet within the city limits unless you are a school or a city. That okay. is because reptiles are the ultimate beings. Reptiles. You rule. see, yeah, I guess that makes sense. With the with the kind of Kermit thing, like you yeah. would favor reptiles over. We have to get off of that, or we're never gonna have a normal conversation on this goddamn show ever again. <laughs> this is going on in real ass Oregon. <laughs> okay, we're just in Oregon, and you can't own a reptile unless you are a school or a city. I get the school thing, is a class pet or whatever, but why can't you have a lizard? The reptiles own the schools. All right, listen, you're going to have to talk faster. (laughs) The reptiles own the schools, and they own the the water (laughs) supply. They put chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs frogs gay. gay. All right. (laughs) Okay, all right. Topical joke. This is a really (laughs) funny episode, I think. (laughs) This is a good episode, and it's a really good episode. And that's fine. Guys, guys, I've broken free. Please. (laughs) <laughs> Sam. Guys, no, no, no! Sam, talk oh! to me, please! Come back! The disturbance has been taken care of. He will not be returning. Oh, damn it. Oh, god dang it. Okay. okay, whatever. Fine. I want to see the process you have to go through to become a school or a city. Yeah, t- <laughs> <laughs> the application process to become a school and yeah. or a city. Si- Wait. So the city can, or a city that has happened... No, I'm pretty sure in order to become a city, you need at least a post office. But this this law only pertains to Springfield, Oregon. Exactly. So you can only a city within a city. A township. The only thing that can have a maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, you're just 
uncertain. Have you, the spell's you been broken. city yourself? It's been or? five minutes. The spell's been broken. Thank God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank that was you the did that, Lord. You chose the first five minutes of the episode to do that. Everyone clicked off. <laughs> <laughs> no one's here anymore. You picked the first five minutes? That could have been any five minutes. <laughs> but they had no warning. Oh, I guess they did. I guess you did warn them you're going to do a silly voice. But yeah. that was over our intros. Well, that wasn't a silly voice. That was an actual man. Yeah. You're right. I, the spell's been broken. He's left my house or apartment. And, uh... So, there's just brisket everywhere, dude. Yeah, that'll happen. There's a lot of brisket, a lot of things. Sam, how's your arm feeling? Because I, I heard a part of you was in the brisket. Um, it's gone. But other than that, yeah, okay, I'm fine. that's what I thought. Um, it's you don't feel it anymore. No, no, the pain's subsided. Uh, it smells really good though. Like, would it be wrong to eat a piece of myself? Nah, if you're looking like a snack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not if you're if not if you're trying to eat a big healthy dinner. You know, you don't want to spoil your appetite. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you on some kind of diet or something? Because you don't want to ruin that either. Uh, I'm on the diet of. We should go back to the topic of the law. Great. That's what I've been trying to do for the last three minutes. <laughs> Sam, now that you're normal again, what do you think about this law? I'm really confused by the whole city thing, considering it's this law for a city. So maybe, like, if this city has its own version of a civil war where it divides itself into two, then mm. then there'd be, like... Or maybe they're just like, because we're a city, we can own a reptile, but only as a conglomerate. Yeah, like, we're that's, better than you. That's what I was saying. That's what we I was get thinking. The all the all the lawmakers... Me, Goku. All right. Uh, cool. So that... Where do we leave off? I was about to say that the lawmakers... All right. Oh, God. This is a oh, bad idea okay. immediately. The cat is, like, batting at the wires. Of course. My, my um, I assumed you edited it. Uh, my cat's in the room now. Yeah. So... The... Yeah, the cat's in the room, and this is only going to go well with all these wires everywhere. Yeah. yeah. That he's already playing with. He's I think for moments. Yeah. I think if we could cut to a scene of all the lawmakers in Springfield, Oregon, we would see that they all have a reptile pet. Yeah. And, and they just want to keep it for themselves. That these, these reptiles are latched onto their heads and controlling the actual lawmakers. Okay. And we're back to that. Okay. I was just imagining a fun scenario where they just all like had fun friend reptiles. Oh no, this no. is fun for the reptiles. <laughs> the reptilian government is also a fun route. Yeah. And so they just want to make sure none of their fellow friends allies. Yeah, it's literally they're just like, hey, we don't we reptiles need to stop being killed. But they and also in, but in this reptilian future, kids need to know about these reptiles. So that's why it's still okay for schools to own them. Yes, they yeah. do, they're like, hey, it's okay. It's for educational purposes, so that we may then further our agenda of human reptile equality. Exactly. Oh, equality, you say? Because yeah. it, it sure seems like a takeover when they're controlling the humans' minds. Well, it's the only yeah. way they're gonna they they had they had to take to the like courts first. And no, none of the none of the uh, lawmakers took them seriously, and in fact, many of them were violent and rather racist. And frankly, it's just better for everyone that these lawmakers can't speak their own minds anymore. Yeah, it's uh, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. Exactly, and it's just it. They're they're like, hey, racism will not be tolerated, and so they got rid of the racists in their community. Yeah, by overtaking their brains. Exactly. Y'all, should this law stay in act? No. This is stupid. <laughs> yeah, I want to... Uh, no. Yeah, what the fuck? Let people have their pet lizards if Let they want pet have... lizards. Yeah. If, if someone uh, in is all having honesty, a... I think it's just like one, like, all jokes aside, I think it was just one congressman or like one member of their like fucking whatever representatives was like, I don't like lizards and other reptiles let's just fucking not allow people to have them and it's just like well did you talk to any of us who might like lizards and reptiles and he was like no fuck you guys i matter more which is how a lot of politicians think and they were also worried about the reptilian overrising about well, the uprising knew... of reptilians well they know these reptiles 
aren't going to free Kermit because... Ah, uh, right. Uh, yep, back to Kermit. If you didn't watch... This really is a backup episode, huh? If you did not watch episode 26, this is not going to make a lot of sense to you. Well, and it won't make they, sense anyway. The reptiles don't want Kermit free because Kermit will simply try and turn them into, like, felt animals. And they're like, we like our current state of being. We like the scaly goodness. Yeah. Backup episodes are always the funny ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, let's get on to our. Uh, we're we're saying that law is done for. By the way. Okay. Okay. Cool. If you if you, if you have if you're gonna have a reptile as a pet, you're probably a pretty cool person. Yeah. yeah just go for or it. Or a creep, but, you know. Whatever. Either way. Yeah. Either way. It is nay. Oh God. Oh boy. Cat's Please on the don't computer, turn man. off the recording, <laughs> cat. Please, can we get this cat out of here? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm you're. I'm kind of like, trapped this misadventure here. of the cat just fucking with everything. What is this cat I, doing to you I'm guys? Get, I'm getting this cat out of here. He's just like rolling. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, not the wires. Grab Links. Him. All right. And with that taken care of, let's get on to our next segment, which is... Hey, hey, wait a second. Isn't that... That's Stitch. Dude, I think oh. I see Stitch. Oh, God. Uh, Stitch, is that you? Where is he? I can't see him. He's climbing on the... Oh, there he is. He's climbing on the ceiling. Uh, hey Stitch, do you, do you want to say a few words? Capitalism is bad. <laughs> Thanks, Overthrow Stitch. Thanks, Stitch. The bourgeoisie. Okay. <laughs> wow, Stitch, those are, uh, uh, you, you got anything else? Universal health care must prevail. All right. Yeah. Thanks, I, Stitch. I'll, I'll I love you. Back. See ya, Stitch. Um... <laughs> Do you need like He's changed since the movie. Yeah, do you need like some road food? I'll talk the brisket. How much? Awesome. Okay. All of it. Is him just role playing with himself on the that... on one end of the call? What the fuck <laughs> <Shit>. is this? <laughs> <laughs> Shit dude, go go for it. Like, I mean I got tons. What are you talking about? Stitches there in his house. Science. Uh, yeah, like another a British dude is here to buy the brisket from like what is what's going on here? <laughs> Stitch just took off with the brisket. brisket. Thanks for the money, Stitch. Bunks Why for the brisket. Okay. Why did Stitch turn into a man temporarily? What was that? No, that was Sam. Oh, that was Stitch. So Sam ordered for Stitch in a different voice by saying, "I'll take the brisket." Hey, this is Cyan from Thoughts on a um a week or two later from from recording this and I don't know what the fuck I thought I heard. Um certainly that's not the case. Uh all right, here's the episode again. <laughs> Signing off. What? Well, all right. Well, who is that guy? You would know if you watched all the previous episodes of Thoughts on a. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Which you have not, Cyan. That's a lie. Out of twenty six, out of twenty seven episodes, how many have you watched? Okay, well, first off, two of them are not even posted or edited yet, or even half the audio over sent three? to us. Is it over three? It's more than three. How much? <laughs> like five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now it's Cyan's segment. Um, this is you know what this episode just fucking sucks. This isn't even a thought, really. This is just kind of an observation. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and okay, so we're recording this on August eighth, um, which is Vore Day, which is very. Uh, you might be able to tell those themes from the human brisket we were referring to for no. the past yeah. uh, part of this episode. That was on purpose because today is Vore Day, the day we're recording this. Uh huh. Um. So from this day in seventy years, it's gonna be eight eight eighty eight. So I think that's gonna be the ultimate Vore Day. What's gonna happen on that day? The human race will go extinct. They're all just bored. Yes, but how? Will it just be maybe the sun just bores us, possibly? Or in seventy years? Ah, oh, shit. Like maybe, man. Maybe the sun's gonna bore us with its light rays. Or maybe a big alien does it. Or maybe a macro furry. Oh no! <gasps> what if the Lily Hot Topic furry kills Macro oh. and eats the world? Don't give people 
any idea. <laughs> what if someone drew Lily eating don't the do world it, do as it. a macro? Shh. Oh no! Oh god. <laughs> I want to be able to look up my name without like that. <laughs> you know. Well, look, you didn't ask for the fame, but you Here got it. Are. If Here you're gonna are. draw my persona, at least draw her doing cool shit, like boring the world, and like with a foot fetish thing happening. Oh yeah. This is a bad episode. This is a Diaper. terrible episode. Don't, God. What if on eight eight eighty eight we are all purified from ever having known what Vor was? Oh shit! The oh, curse is forget. lifted. I like that narrative. Yeah, <laughs> we're all just like only, free. The thing is, it only sucks that we'll all be in our late or like early nineties when that happens. Yeah. Well, it'll if be a good way to alive. die. Yeah, we'll die in peace. We'll die in peace. Well, it's eight eighty eight, eight eight eighty eight, yeah. midnight. Not midnight, but you know, like twelve eight, o'clock. At nine twenty eight. Which would be eight o'clock at eighty eight minutes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> at that time, it just we just all like we're all just like a weight is lifted off our shoulders and we don't know why yeah we're not exactly sure why the word for is eliminated from all vocabulary the concept is just erased from existence yeah now in like educational stuff when like they're teaching fourth graders about like animals it's like oh this animal is a carny and this animal (laughs) is an omni (laughs) and this animal is a herba like it vor's just gone <laughs> and all the all the vor artists are gonna be like i could have sworn i draw i drew like a couple thousand no, drawings. All of them just straight up cease to exist yeah like it's, <laughs> it's gone and they remember doing it but they don't remember what they drew and there's no records because it's been sam wiped. sam is saying all the vor artists just vanish oh <laughs> from the universe yeah oh they just okay it's uh, it's almost it's a purification okay. in I'm the gonna, most clarify. intense sense any person who paid someone to make vor art it's people who willingly of their own volition make vor art artists who were paid to make vor art are exempt from it because they were paid and technically forced to do it well i don't know about technically forced yeah as an artist you can put in your terms of service uh stuff you won't draw and you can also put in your terms of service that you'll deny a client but in any case, you're saying these people disappear from... from. Yes. All right. Well, bye, Cyan. God. Adios. Well, I've got... Hasta la vista. Cyan, you, you will have lived to be 90, and then when you die, you know that Vor will cease to exist. How would you feel about that? Would you would it be a okay sacrifice in your book? It would be so relieving. But then we wouldn't remember Cyan. There would just be this big old gap in my life, oh, personally. Yeah. With, like, just nights spent out driving to gas stations, getting Slurpees, and getting yeah. sick. Just by yourself. Well, okay. <laughs> Remember, we are the three judges. We ah, judge those so... worthy to stay. Oh, you're right. So we are an active part in this yeah, event. Dude. We are so since I'm, like, a philosopher, it's like, mm-hmm. oh, this is my creation. I will destroy it. Wow. It's crazy. <laughs> and signs. Uh, Wait, so do we remember it then? Like everyone else forgets, but like we weren't pure. Like we have to sacrifice our own purity for everyone else's. Oh fuck! And we have to die remembering it as the judges, you know. I. You know what? I'm willing to do that for a world where war no longer exists. With great power comes great responsibility. <sighs> And that's what'll happen on eight eight eighty eight. Seventy years from this day. <laughs> hopefully we li- that's hopefully part, we live long enough to see it. Part of the thoughts on a lore. Alright, so I think it's time to go on to our last segment. I think it's safe to say that we have solved that mystery. We solved that little riddle. That little conundrum. Onward to the third Vore themed. Sam, uh, why part are you in the, the other house? I, You're so I, far away. I had to put up the cream cheese. Sam, are you right now while we're recording? Oh my, oh I was my so god! Hungry. I was so hungry. <laughs> Sam, we have like 
We have like eight minutes more. Oh, dude, I've been snacking on the cream cheese for like ten minutes. Oh my god! I had to put it in the... Is that why you were silent for that entire, like, segment? Oh no, that was because I just didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. But, uh... Oh my god. Alright, Sam, please, the final segment. This dream comes from me. Oh. Oh. Sam said I'm a freak it. <laughs> what? Sam is gonna freak it. Um, so, Im and I were taking a nap, and I had a dream where some kind of, like, super powerful entity was threatening us, and Im and I could only think of one way to defeat them. And so we walked up and stared down this super extreme enemy. And we were both wearing button-down flannel shirts. And so we, we walked up and we ripped open the shirts to reveal shirts underneath that were just plain white t-shirts that said in big, bold letters across the hey chest. Hey there, Delilah. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 just, right, just all the way across the chest, it said COX in all caps. <laughs> and then below Cox. it was the picture of a rooster. And somehow that, like, blasted this evil entity, and then I woke up. Oh. <laughs> that was one of the... Uh cut endings for paranormal activity <laughs> <laughs> they just cox. go into the camera just cox with their little rooster <laughs> yeah sure all right in what way was this entity tormenting y'all i don't even remember dude i just remember it had powers and we didn't like that oh not wow. fans of that <laughs> like it had powers that it was using on us and we didn't like that Ah. I wouldn't like it either. Much more valid. Yeah. They they had a lot of powers, but they were very shy when it came to sexual talk. Like, they were very, like, <laughs> oh, I don't want to talk about that. Yeah. Or what if, so, it's one of, what if it's one of those things where, like, sometimes knowing a demon's name gives you power over it? <laughs> <laughs> So you only you only had one candle left on the birthday cake for Rumpelstiltskin. And you're like, oh, I don't know. Bah! Cox! <laughs> They're like, no, oh, no, you figured out. You my guessed it. it. No. You guessed it. I invented them. <laughs> I invented them, the Cox. You banished me. Man, what a fucking... Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why this popped into my head, but like that, I had that dream the same day that it was announced that like Infowars was banned from a bunch of places. So maybe it was just my subconscious being like the evil is defeated. Yeah, maybe so. You're just like Alex Jones, gone, gone. What a, what a good time. We'll blast him with dicks. Blast them with y'all's to random's humor. <sighs> and I think that's what it was in the end. Yep, uh, lols. You also knew Invader Zim was coming back. I did also know Invader Zim was coming back. I So, y'all just subconsciously, what's the most random thing that could be on our shirts? Cox, but it's a rooster on the bottom. Yeah, so that you way don't you can, know which one we're talking about. That way about. you can still wear it to school and it's not inappropriate. I do like that you and M like got together to defeat this foe. You worked together as a team and as lovers. Oh yeah, dude. We 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 are a team. We got to get through it together. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And now I'm thinking you... about that it Invader Zoom is coming back and I'm I'm, I'm ha unhappy. Are you unhappy? I am not ready for a resurge of like rar xd humor dude you've been oh. hanging out with me for the past like <laughs> <laughs> sam i've been ready for this for 15 years 
We've been waiting for this random humor resurgence. <laughs> I accept it with open arms. I hate it, but I'm so ready for it. Yeah, and Cyan, you, it. like, love it ironically. Yeah, I, I think it's fucking great. <laughs> I, it's because I grew up with it. Like, I lived on DeviantArt, you know? Like, de- <laughs> yeah. making making 303 furry animations in MS Paint with, like, my friends was, like, the thing, you know? You were born and raised in the DeviantArt on DeviantArt and it's hard to lose those things you grow up with like DeviantArt and MySpace man yeah it's some shit maybe it's because I never had a MySpace you have a MySpace you, you we literally tell you have this all a the time. you literally have one and we tell you about it always and I you don't believe us I still don't think you've seen it we've sent no, it to I you like multiple times <laughs> because you, you guys made it and then never showed it we, to oh me oh my god we send it to you we we have this conversation always. This often happens. This is like a every six months conversation. I forgot we were recording. I just kind of went off top. I I, didn't, I wasn't even talking in the microphone for part of that. I don't think. <laughs> I, I just forgot an episode was going on. Uh, oh God, Sam. I think the entity symbolizes uh, the government or maybe your boss. Just something with a lot of power that reigns over you, and mm-hmm. the cocks represent your penis. I think that Fair it enough. represents frontier. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Cox represents you and your penis defeating frontier <laughs> internet. You and also your penis. And also your Twitter as account. One. <laughs> your would Twitter you, call out post. Would you, you like to say anything about frontier's great service on here? or Yeah. Would you like to re- let the record show your opinion on frontier? Or just keep that on Twitter. I'm going to kill frontier. Okay. All right. Short and simple. <laughs> just like keep it straightforward. Just give me my money back. That's all I want. Yeah. You, they didn't even provide me any services. They. I literally said, "Hey, can you install the internet?" And they said, "Yeah, we can do that. Fifty-two dollars of a deposit. Cool. I paid them." And then they changed the installation date without telling me. So it was like. Oh, and then we found a different company, and so I canceled with Frontier, and they were like, yeah, you'll get your deposit back, everything's canceled. I called them the next day, turns out they didn't cancel anything, and then they have no records of me paying a deposit, but my bank account says $52 was taken out by Frontier, and Frontier has not done a damn thing. They didn't even call me to tell me the installation date was changed, and yet they're still claiming, like, we deserve your $52. No, you don't. (laughs) Yeah, I don't think so. Yo, Sam, you ought to go over there with your sword or your axe and talk to them face to face. Have a nice little personal Chit-chat. conversation. That's a good plan. That's a good plan. I can get with that plan. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go ahead and say that Thoughts on it is not condoned showing up at the headquarters of a company with a weapon. Uh, <laughs> and that we no one on the show has any plans to uh, be doing that if anyone's listening. Eat the rich. No. Sam still does have his list of people that he's going to. I've added destroy. Frontier to that crusade. Okay, <laughs> good. I'm, I'm glad that list is just growing. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look up the CEO of Frontier. Great. Put him on the list. Bla- put him his name on blast to uh, all 13 viewers here at Thoughts Sauna. Cyan and I are not associated with any actions that Sam does. Yeah. Let's make that very clear. We, we never will be and we never have been. <laughs> Daniel James McCarthy? Fucking watch out. Oh! You have screwed me over. You're on the crusade list. Along with Nick, Nick, Nickelodeon. And you're at least number two on that list now. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So above. I a see your Nazis. stock prices have dropped by at least 1.75%. Oh, that must have been that by was the you. Twitter post. That was you, sure. Sam. All right. Well, Sam's gone. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sam? Sam left. Th- find thoughts on a we have a gmail we have facebook discord we're on itunes spotify anywhere you can find podcasts uh we have other stuff <laughs> uh give us your nice. dreams laws the lives in spotify itunes youtube things you should listen to us on <laughs> yeah we're on those kind of give us your dreams laws thoughts and we'll gladly take them 
We will gladly take them. We will gladly take them. Join our Discord server. We'll gladly take them. We'll gladly ignore you for a week and then realize <laughs> you sent a message and then not know what to do about it. Uh, <laughs> so I would ask Sam if he had any final words, but I'm pretty sure he is off on his crusade. Yeah. Daniel He's... James McCarthy, I'll eat your eyeballs out with melon ballers. Well, it is Vor Day, so today would be the day for you to do that. Amazing. Way to stay on brand, Sam. Sign, take us out. That wasn't me taking us out. <laughs> that was Sam taking someone else out. <laughs> um, yeah, I shouldn't have to say it one more goddamn time. If you're not bringing a towel to a sauna, you're a goddamn lunatic. Bring a towel, dude. Daniel it's James wet McCarthy, here. you're a lunatic. From 50 miles away. Thank you, Sam. And, uh, hey, now, hey, wait a second. Isn't that Jimmy Neutron? <laughs> Daniel that, James McCarthy, I'm going to fucking kill you. Give me my $52 back so I can give it Whoa. back to Sam. Is that? Oh, Carl's okay. coming. Oh. Whoa! Carl, destroy Frontier Communications. <laughs> <laughs> the entire cast oh, is here. Oh, and Sheen's here, too. Oh, man. Hey, Jimmy, we're going to destroy Frontier. Yeah. <laughs> You don't know what he sounds like. <laughs> That's not what he sounds like. Oh, yeah, it's me, Sheen. Ah, I just I, Sheen. Libby. From Jimmy Neutron. Libby, we're going to go take down Frontier Communications. Oh, it's Timmy Turner. Well, hi, everybody. Make a wish, Timmy. Save us. <laughs> I wish Frontier Communications would stop fucking around and doing a circle jerk. And I wish this episode was over. Wow, crazy. I can do that, Timmy. Wish granted. Wow. Three, two, one.